I am Anil Kumar and now let us try to understand how to solve exponential equations with integer exponents. In part 1 and 2 we solved exponential equations with whole number as the base and whole number as the exponent. Now we will consider the cases like uh, let's review. If I have 2 to the power of minus 1 that minus 1 is the integer, right? Negative numbers. So 2 to the power of minus 1 is indeed 1 over 2 to the power of 1 or half, right? So whenever you have negative power, you need to write the number, the base, as its reciprocal. If I have, let us say, 3 to the power of minus 2, it means what? It means 1 over 3 whole square, right? This is what it means. Or you could say it is 1 over 3 square or 9, correct? So that is how we work with negative exponents, right? So these are the integer numbers, correct? If I have 2 over 3 to the power of minus 2, it really means, first you do reciprocal of the number, it means 3 over 2 to the power of 2. So that negative exponent makes the number as its reciprocal. And then, you know, 3 square is 9, 2 square is 4, it is 9 over 4. So that is kind of base which you need to understand before we get into solving equations. Solving equations will be finding the exponent for the given result. So it's kind of a backward calculation, but it is similar, right? So let's begin by writing some questions first, and then we will see how to solve such questions, right? Let us say, if I have uh, 2 to the power of 4, or let's say 2 to the power of x is equal to, let us say 1 over 8, then we need to find x. That is what solving equation will mean, right? Let me write another question for you. 25 to the power of x equals to 1 over 625. You need to find x, right? Let us say we have 10 to the power of x equals to 0 0.01. Now let us see how to solve these three equations one by one, right? All involve integer exponents. Since you see this fraction, a rational number here, 1 over 8, right? So that gives you an idea that x should be negative, right? So in all these cases, we are expecting x to be an integer, right? That is what we are expecting. Now the strategy is to write down the number with the same base. So we'll first step is same, same strategy, right? So 1 over 8, I could write 8 as 2 to the power of 3, correct? Right. Now it is 1 over 2 to the power of 3. Think like this. It is 1 over 2 to the power of 3. But I need 2 to the power of something. What is that something? I can have reciprocal of half if I make that negative. So it could be written as 2 to the power of negative 3. Now we have the same base. 2 and 2 and we can find what x is. So x is equals to negative 3. So that is how you can solve these questions. Let us follow these steps once again to solve 25 to the power of x equals to 1 over 625. Now how can I write 625 as exponent of 25? Well 25 square is 625. So I could write this as 1 over 25 square, which is same as 1 over 25 whole square. Since 1 square is also 1, right? So now I need 25 to the power of what? 1 over 25, it is reciprocal of 25. So I could write this as 25 to the power of negative 2. So that negative makes it reciprocal. Once I write like this, I have the same base, exponents should also be equal. So we get our answer, which is x equals to minus 2, right? So that is how 
we can solve such questions. I hope now the steps are clear. Try to do this question on your own. It's kind of tricky. 10 to the power of x equals to 0 0.01. Now, what is 0 0.01? Well, 0 0.01 is 1 over 100, right? 0 0.01 is 1 over 100. When you divide by 100, the decimal moves two places to left, right? So it is here, moves two places to left, and that's what you get. So 1 over 100 is point zero 0.01. Now, how could you write 1 over 100 as an exponent? It is 10 square, right? Which is same as 1 over 10 whole square or 10 to the power of minus 2. So therefore, x is equals to minus 2. So that is the way to solve such questions. Now, looking into all this, I think you got the process. Here is a thinking question for you. Question for you is, let me write this as 2 to the power of x is equals to 0 0.25, right? You need to find what x is equals to, right? That is your question. Try this. You need to adopt this strategy combined with what we learned here. That should give you the answer. I hope you find it very interesting. Thank you and all the best.